What's up guys? You know, this product looks like a power bank, but it is actually a portable power station. Because in addition to USB-C and USB-A ports, it has AC output. In this video we will be testing a G-Power C60Q power station. We will talk about design, ports and other maximum input and output power, and then check the capabilities of the AC output. You are watching Tech Brothers YouTube channel, and let's start the review. So the new power station comes in this box. I like the logo of this company, because the letter G looks like a shark. We can also see that the power station can be used to charge camera, drone, laptop and smartphone. We will check it out later in this video. There is also what's inside the box and specifications on the side. So the power station has a capacity of 20,000 mAh or 74 watts hour. The maximum power of USB-C input and output is 30 watts, while the USB-A output is 18 watts. As for the AC output, it is 100 watts maximum, and that sounds impressive. In the box we have a user manual, USB-C to USB-C cable and a power station in a bag. By the way, the bag is very soft and pleasant to touch. I think this is a very useful thing for storing or carrying the station. You know, I am surprised by the weight of this power station. I thought it would be heavier. The weight is 655 grams. The body of the power station is made of soft plastic. There is G power logo on the front and some information about power station on the back. You can press the power button and see the LED indicator on the front. It says about the battery level of the station. G power C60Q power station has a cooling fan at the bottom. However, it doesn't work all the time, but only during heavy loads. For example, when I charged my smartphone or a laptop separately, the fan didn't run. However, when I plugged the amp boss in, the fan turned on. The fan ensures that the station will not overheat. There are also other safety protections available, such as short circuit protection, over voltage protection, over current protection, and over load protection. Moreover, G Power Power Station complies with the TSA regulations, so you can take it with you on the plane. By the way, I forgot to tell you the size of this power station. It is 153 by 68 by 68 mm. You know, it is about the same size as my Xiaomi 30,000 mAh power, power bank. But the cheap power power station is even lighter. It is a big advantage of the power station. Ok, now let's talk about connectors. G-Power C60Q power station has USB-A, USB-C and AC output. You can only use USB-C port to charge the power station. By the way, the full battery charge of the station takes only 2.5 hours. You can also use USB-C port to charge other devices, for example smartphones. The maximum USB-C output power is at 30 watts, so it is not enough to charge the laptop. However, you can use AC output with a peak power of 100 watts to charge the laptop. By the way, you need to press the power button for 3 seconds to turn on the AC output. The LED indicator will light up. My Xiaomi laptop is really charging. To be honest, I am not surprised, because this power station is mainly designed for charging laptops and smartphones. What else you can plug into the power station? Let's try a portable projector. As you can see, it also works. By the way, when you don't have electricity at home, you can use the charging station to power your router. You know, this winter I had no electricity very often and accordingly no internet. Now I can use the power station to power the router. This is a very important feature for me. So you can plug a variety of devices into the new G Power power station, but I think it is mostly for charging laptops and smartphones. However, before you buy this power station, make sure that 100 watts is enough to charge your laptop. I also like the built-in fan in the station, so it will not overheat. Overall, it is a quality and useful product. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.